Since 1994, the Lemelson MIT program at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology has been giving out grants to high school aged inventors in the hopes of encouraging sustainable new solutions to real world problems. Every year at Eureka Fest, the student teams show off their inventions. Eureka Fest is the Lemelson MIT program's annual celebration of the inventive spirit. We bring together all of our Lemelson MIT award winners for the year and all of our invent teams, our high school grants recipients. Invent Teams is a nationwide grants initiative. Uh, we look for high school students and, and teachers who are geared up with an idea of an invention that they want to develop to solve a problem in their community or, or elsewhere. We'll give them a grant of up to $10,000 to do it and we'll support them in other ways and you know, try and help them with their projects. Projects like this portable watercraft transfer device for disabled users developed by students associated with the Science Museum of Minnesota or this outdoor self-sustaining solar-powered hydroponic gardening system. It's used to grow tomato plants without any intervention. It's completely solar-powered and it even sends out updates via Twitter. Or this micro-scale hydroelectric water purifier system developed by students at Oak Ridge High School in Tennessee. It's designed to be placed in running rivers or streams in areas without access to clean water such as rural Appalachia. Several other inventions were on display at Eureka Fest as well. About 10% of uh, power year-round is, uh, is accounted for through standby power. Something like this, if it costs around $12, if you're running it on your television, just saving, uh, just cutting the standby power from your television alone, it'll pay for itself within a, a reasonable amount of time. The Arduino microcontroller um, takes those, both of those inputs and can use those numbers to tell you if you're in danger of being struck by lightning. We are building a physical therapy chair that can vibrate and heat for the physically fragile kids at our school. To keep the muscles from atrophying? Yes, they get they put their arms to certain points to stretch them out, and then from there they get their exercise. This is an ultrasonic device that uses ultrasound, obviously, to alert a blind person to objects at the head or neck level. The motor will spin at a different speed depending on how close the object is to you. Yeah. What is with the power glove? Uh, well, I saw, you know, I saw the Nintendo Power Glove, and I thought, we have these sensors, why not, why not try to make my own? So I can, I can interface with my computer and it knows exactly where each of my fingers are and how my arm is rotated. I'm trying to build a second hand, maybe build it up my arm. Pretty much as bionic as I can get.